Hi guys, Rachel here with The Cackling Moon. This video, um, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my tarot year card as well as how I stay, pretty much how I stay um, <laughs> put together, organized, um, and all of the above with my tarot business as well as within myself. Um, <clears throat> I love planners, I love journals. I love all that stuff. So that is like the main thing that I use to keep myself on task. Um, so first off, let's talk about the tarot year card. So everybody has a tarot year card and you can figure it out. Um, well, I'm not gonna tell you how you can figure it out. You can Google it if you want, but I also offer year card readings so I could do it for you. <laughs> but anyways, after doing the calculations, um, my year card is the number eight. And it's really significant for me this year because the eight is not only the year card, but it's also the eighth year that I'm doing Cackling Moon. Um, so eight is just a big number. And it's kind of funny because I was seeing 888 a lot. My hubby was seeing 888 a lot. And so eight is the number of abundance. It's it's just, <laughs> it's just everything just like goes together and it's so cool. Um, so number eight is the strength in the tarot. Um, so this is my year card. This is the, this is what 2020 is representing as far as tarot is concerned. This is the themes. This, these are lessons that I'm going to be learning throughout the year. And to me, strength is, um, obviously strength and perseverance. It's power. Okay. It's confidence, but it's also taming your beasts, taming your wild parts, taming the darkness, taming your fears, taming, um, Anything that happens that will be coming up for me this year is basically learning to be patient, learning to, which I have a lot of patience, I feel, <laughs> but I also feel like it's also learning to just to work with more difficult parts of myself, inner self, inner self work, that kind of thing. Um, I think it's also just by like literally living them and embracing my own power and embracing this version of myself that I have literally manifested and that I have been waiting so long for. Um, 2020 is the year that I get to be completely me and free and <laughs> spread my wings and coming out with my, with, with my name to you guys was a big step and it's just I'm really excited to see what else is going to be coming through. So love the strength for that and I'm really excited for what this is going to be bringing forth for the new year and throughout the next 12 months. I also pull the number eights from the minor arcanas just to kind of see what else is gonna be popping up for me. So definitely with the eight of wands, to me this is a year of persevering and moving forward. This is a future focused year. This is a year of green lights. This is a year of going forward with ideas and projects and taking action and taking initiative and being more active and voicing things and just a lot of like movement I feel is involved with this 2020 year. Um, so I really love the Eight of Wands. It's one of my favorite cards in the tarot. Um, the Eight of Swords to me is releasing myself from negative setbacks, negative mindsets, um, battling the ego. Um, I feel like the Eight of Swords is all about like you think that you're locked in the mind. You think that you're imprisoned. You think that you're trapped. When in reality, you're not, and things aren't as bad as it seems. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of the mental stuff that will be a challenge for me. Um, my own mental blocks, my own ego getting in the way, self-doubt will probably be a part of it. Um, but I have to call also keep in mind, if we're looking at the perspective of the Eight of Swords, she seems like she's trapped, but she's not. And so that's a, like a constant reminder that everything is going to be okay. Um, Eight of Cups too, walking away what, from what is no longer necessary for me, walking away from my literal voids, um, whether it's emotional voids or physical voids. Um, I feel like this is going to go hand in hand with some of the goals that I've set for myself for 2020. I think that this is a lot of journeying, <laughs> a lot of moving on from, from things, activities, people, places, stuff, thoughts, memories that just don't hold a place in my heart or in my life anymore and so I really like to see that with the eight of cups 
So really excited to see the Eight of Cups play out in my year. And then lastly, we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is all about hard work, perseverance. It's all about putting in the effort. Having to stay productive is the big one, I feel. Um, I feel like the Eight of Pentacles is just re remaining productive throughout the year, keeping busy, constantly putting myself in check. And that's also going to ring true with um, what I'm gonna talk about soon um, with the goals and whatnot. So it's gonna be quite a year <laughs> with the eights, the year of eights, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm really excited that strength popped up as my year card because when I was doing, um, whoops, all my cards fell out. All my cards fell out. When I was doing the Tarot Book Club um, video, one of the cards in the chapter that we just completed was strength and I found myself having a, like having a difficulty gathering what I felt from that portion of the book. So it's really exciting to see this card come up as my year card because perhaps the reason why I was having struggles with strength is because I need to do some more inner work with her. So really excited for that. Um, I can't wait. And um, yeah, super excited. So that is the tarot year card. Okay, so now I want to talk to you guys about my my goals um, for 2020, and then I'll talk to you guys with about how I'm going to plan on staying organized. So, um, for the goals, basically, some quickie goals. Um, I have a whole list here, so I'm just gonna go down the line. <laughs> Obviously, um, goals for, for 2020 is to eat healthier. I definitely want to practice more um, vegetables in my diet because I feel like vegetables are probably the one um, thing that I lack in my meals. Um, so more vegetables, more greens in my foods. Um, I want to be more active and I want to do, starting with going on walks on a daily basis, um, going for a quick walk, walk around the neighborhood, just, I just want to get my body used to being more mobile, <laughs> moving around more, um, especially because I am not going to be working anymore. So, well, technically I'm still, I'm still working like I'm doing cackling moon, but I'm working out of home and that means I'm not going to physically be working in a place. Um, and so I'm not going to be as on my feet and as mobile as I normally would be. So that's definitely one of the main reasons why I want to be more active is because um, I don't wanna be a couch potato and I don't want to build bad habits with that. So definitely want to start incorporating, like going for a morning walk before I even start anything else. Um, going for evening walks when the weather starts to warm up and that sort of thing, so. Um, drink water daily. I love water. I drink water almost daily, but there are times and I have noticed when I was working, <laughs> um, one of my big habits was going to Starbucks and getting like a, um, a Frappuccino or an iced tea or usually it was one of the two. Um, and because I was drinking that, I wouldn't have water as often. And so I found myself getting dehydrated more often. And so I put drinking water daily as a goal because I really want to make sure that I am at least getting the minimum <laughs> of what I should be drinking and working my way up. Um, and like pretty much more water, less sugary drinks, which is my next one on my goals is less Starbucks. I am not going to be cutting it out completely because that would just be really depressing for me <laughs> because I do enjoy my iced teas from Starbucks, but I do plan on not going as consistently as I was before. Um, so I'm gonna be limiting my Starbucks trips significantly and my bank account will be very happy for that. Um, <clears throat> I put down nails, so as you guys know, I got my nails back, <laughs> um, but I'm planning to go only once a month. So I don't know what the norm is for everyone else, but back in the day when I was, you know, when I had nails all the time, um, I like to switch up the colors and stuff. And so I would sometimes go twice a month. I would go every two weeks and <laughs> sometimes even between that too, because I just got tired of the color or I wanted a different shape or whatever. So um, I'm really going to be limiting my nail appointments to once a month. Um, so I'm gonna go every three weeks. 
Um, and hopefully I'll be able to keep up with it. And if I can't, then they're coming off because <laughs> nail appointments can be very expensive. And that is just something that this is more of like a leisure for me. It's just like my little pampering time. And if it becomes to be a bit crazy, then I'll just take them off. Um, cause it was nice having my real nails at one point. Um, then I put drop some pounds. So that's one thing with me. Weight loss is always a goal. Weight loss is always something obviously that I want to do because I want to be healthier and more comfortable. Um, but I also am, I embrace my size. I embrace being plus size. I embrace my body as it is right now. Um, so I don't want people to think like, oh, I want to lose weight. I want to drop weight or whatever because I'm unhappy. Like I love myself and I love my body and the way I look. But <laughs> I would also like to be more comfortable um, and just I want to be healthier and I want to be I just want to feel good and comfortable. So I'm doing it for comfort, not necessarily for the number on the scale and not necessarily for I don't have like, oh, I want to be this much by this time. Kind of like I don't set goals like that because that adds pressure and then pressure adds, adds anxiety for me and <laughs> I just don't need that. So um, I don't want to be like obsessed with the number and whatnot. I just, I weighed myself the other day. I know where I'm at. So I know where my starting point is. And I just figure if I drop a little bit, good. But there's no like, I don't have like a goal of a weight that I want to be. Um, Pay off my credit card. So I do have a balance on the credit card. And it's not a big balance, but it is a balance. <laughs> Um, so I would like to get my credit card back to zero and being at zero is the best thing ever. So I just want to get a handle on the credit. So that is the goal for this year, which I think we'll be able to achieve it. I don't think it's going to be that hard. Um, consistency with TCM. Um, so TCM is Cackley Moon, obviously. Um, but consistency meaning like every week I have things that I do. So I want to be consistent with doing weekly energy readings every week, doing my daily um, messages on Instagram, um, posting on YouTube. So I have a whole schedule for myself written out and I think, I think I might have it in here. Yeah, I have a list, but I'll go through that after with you guys. Um, so I have a whole schedule for TCM on a weekly basis to keep me on track because I've never worked out of home before. <laughs> I've always worked it for a company or whatever a business and so I've never worked for myself out of home and I want to make sure that I keep myself productive and busy and on a schedule because that's that's the only way that I'm going to make myself do the things that I need to do and not get lazy and not become a couch potato because that is not the point of working it from home <laughs> um I also put call my grandma more often so um, I'm still blessed that my, gra my grandma is still around and she is getting up there in age and so I'm aware of that and I want to call her more often just you know even if it's just to say hello. It's hard talking to her on the phone because she's hard of hearing <laughs> but even just a sweet little hello grandma I love you. At least she knows that I'm thinking of her. Um, that's to me is better than nothing. Um, and speaking of grandma, I also put visit her one to two times a month. So she lives in LA <laughs> and I live up in the high desert, which is a good, at least two hours away, give or take traffic and all of that. Um, so she's not around the corner. And so uh, pretty much my parents are planning on visiting my grandma at least once a week. And I plan on visiting my parents once a week, going down the hill to see them. So I figured I told them on one of those days that they go out to go see her, I'll meet them at the ha the house and then we'll just carpool to see grandma. So I'm not like driving forever. <laughs> um, so I do plan on visiting her one or two times a month because literally these, these days are, are precious with her. Like she's not going to be around forever. Um, read one to two books a month. So I love to read. You guys know I, I love to read. Um, I don't usually keep track of how many books I read. If anything, it's, I put it down on my, um, I have a Goodreads account. <laughs> so I'll, I'll put my books down there, like what I'm currently reading and, and all of that. But I don't really keep track of how many books I've read in a month. Um, but I would like to do at least one, two books a month. 
give or take. Whether I reach it or not, I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep track, but we'll see. Um, finish the Outlander series. So I'm reading Outlander right now. I'm still on the first book. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a series that I really, really, really do want to finish. I really enjoy it. And it's like, it just interests me because it has all of these, like, it has the element of romance and, and, you know, science fiction and fantasy. But at the same time, it's historical. And I'm not a historical person. Like, history isn't my topic. Like, it's not my favorite subject. And it never was. But for some reason, I'm very intrigued with, with it, with Outlander. So I'm really, really, I really, really, really want to finish the series. So I'm hoping that um, I can get through a good chunk of it this year. Um, learn new recipes. So obviously now that I'm working from home, I have way more time on my hands to cook. <laughs> and that is the plan, is to cook, you know, have meals ready and stuff for hubby when he's home from work. Um, so learning new recipes is a big goal because I am not much of a cook like I have my basics that I know how to do but other than that I'm not like a I don't know how to cook from scratch kind of a person like I need to have a list of what I'm doing <laughs> so learning a new recipe is definitely on the list for goals um, I want to learn healthier recipes so that hubby and I can be healthy when we eat um, but at the same time, I also want to learn some like yummy, delicious recipes too. I don't like to bake. I'm not a baker, but uh, like when I say recipes, like I want to learn how to do dinners because breakfast and lunch are easy, but dinners is like, that's where I struggle. And then I figure the more I'm cooking from home, the less we're eating takeout. Um, make new friends. So I wrote, <laughs> I wrote make new friends because, um, my social time was working. So when I was at work, you know, the, my coworkers, that was my social time. Obviously now that I'm not gonna be doing that anymore, I'm not gonna have social time. Um, that's probably one thing that I'm cringing about as far as like working from home. Um, but I'm hoping that uh, I can maintain contact with the friends that I do have. And I wanna like somehow, maybe I'll join a class or, or something or um, maybe I'll just randomly meet somebody if I set that intention to meet, make new friends. Maybe I'll meet someone like when I'm at the bookstore or something. Um, but I wanna make new friends. Like I wanna continue a social life even though, <laughs> even though a big chunk of it is gonna be gone. Um, launch a new online course. So I have, um, I have one in mind that I wanna do. I just haven't put it together yet. So I'm very confident that now that I'll have a lot of time on my hands, I will be able to launch the new course sometime this year. Launch my tarot course again. So last summer, it was a four month course. I launched my tarot course for the first time. Um, I plan on doing it again. It's going to be a little bit different the way I do it. It's not going to be done live. I will already have the pre-recorded videos and stuff, but um, I want to remake some of the videos. So I do plan on launching the tarot course again. I also plan on having, I want to have the full course, but then I also plan on having like a mini course. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Like the mini course, I might just do it live and then the, the full course will be like pre-recorded. So we'll see what I do, but definitely going to be relaunching it. Um, increase monthly money stats for TCM. So every month I keep track of how many sales I make for the month, how much money did TCM bring in, what readings were sold, all of the above. Um, so I plan on, I like my goal is to increase the monthly stats from the previous year. So for example, this is like just an example. Let's say I made $100 in January last year. I want to beat 100 bucks this new year. <laughs> um, build a savings account. So I currently have money in my savings, but I do plan on putting, you know, dropping a little bit here and there into the savings. Um, since hubby and I, obviously we have a joint account. Um, the money that I bring in from TCM is what I plan on putting in my savings account because that's my money. That's like the money I make. And then, you know, we dip into it when, when we need it. Um, so savings, the, pretty much saving the money is like <laughs> saving the money I make from TCM and then being able to kind of turn that around and use it for like 
things that I need for TCM, whether it's new decks or, you know, um, like I want to get a new shelving space, bookcases or something right here. <laughs> I would like to get a little couch or like a little like a little love seat kind of thing to put in the corner of the room. Um, so that would be TCM related money because then that could be um, a tax, you know, tax thing, a tax write off <laughs> for the business. Um, so building the savings account always. And then hit 5K followers on Instagram. So I just had to add that because um, I've <laughs> I've hovered at 4K for quite a while now. I remember it was like hovering at 3K forever. And then when I finally hit 4K, which was this year, um, I was so excited. And then, so next year I'm hoping that I can hit 5K and go beyond, that would be great. But if not, at least hit 5K. Um, and yeah, so those are, that's all the goals that I've come up with so far. Um, really easy and it really like, no pressure kind of goals like I'm like I said I don't want to set goals for myself that are gonna stress me out each month um, because that's not I don't feel like that's productive so my goals are more of like really laid back and it's kind of like well if you meet it you meet it if you don't you don't but some of the more serious goals would be like paying off the credit card um, eating healthier um, like anything de dealing with money and finances, those are my serious goals. And then of course, consistency with TCM. So I have some serious goals, but then there's some that are just like, eh, if I meet it, like reading one to two books a month, eh, if I do, I do, if I don't, I don't. <laughs> okay, so now this next part of the re um, reading, of the reading of the video, um, I wanna talk to you guys about how do I stay organized for 2020? Um, so I have a nice little pile of bookies here, as you can see. Um, and so staying organized for the year, I like to have planners or specific books, journals, specific to what I'm using. So um, for 2020, this is going to be designated my daily planner slash financial planner. Um, so every month, I whip open my book <laughs> and pay the bills um, and we pay the bills pr pretty much with it. So in my planner, it's called the Floral Expressions Planner. I love it. It's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty. Um, so what I have here is paper clipped to the front of the planner are basically, I basically have a list of everything that I am paying bills for the month. And then on the other side, I have how much it is, but I don't want to show you guys that <laughs> for the sake of transparency um, or, you know, for the, well, transparency, but also for the sake of my, you know, my personal life. Um, so I have a list of everything that needs to get paid for the month plus how much it is or like, an, it's usually like a high estimate of what it is. Um, and then I have like, I have it all added up basically of how much money is going out the door, paying for the bills to get everything covered for the month so that hubby and I know what we're playing with for the rest of the month because we only get paid once a month. So it's really important that we budget. Um, and when, it, when you're budgeting, I find for me, it's really helpful to have it written down because it just works that way. Like it just helps. So... <laughs> So in the planner, um, in the planner, there is like a schedule, like a, a calendar. And so that's where I would write down like my husband's work shifts, my shifts at work. And then I would, I would put like little, um, money signs where it would show like the days that we were getting paid. So obviously my hubby gets paid the first of every month and then I was getting paid twice a month. Um, at my job, but now that I'm not going to be working there anymore, January. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> January is literally just hubby. <laughs> I had to scratch out my stuff. Um, so we get paid once a month with hubby, and then whatever TCM brings in, it's it just comes through whenever. So um, that's why it helps for me to know what bills am I paying for the whole month, get them all paid literally at the beginning of the month. So we're not worried about it. 
and then we're just we know what we're playing with everything else um at the bottom here i have like things written out i have like the chrysler so I'm, i bought I bought my mom's Chrysler off of her and so I have a balance of what I'm paying her and then I put down like my credit card balance and so I just kind of like it those are like big like the big balances that I have that I have to pay off and so I like to write them down to make sure I don't forget because <laughs> that's where a bulk of my money is going into and then um throughout the rest of the the um the planner are the days of the bills so I always go ahead and write it all so I'll show you an empty one so this is an empty one it's all scratched out because I scratched out my um <laughs> my shifts because I'm not going to be working in February so once we know hubby's schedule then I would put his schedule in I have the Christ I, I wrote down Chrysler balance so this is where I would write down okay for this month this is how much I owe let like this is what I let I blah, 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 blah. That's how much left I owe my mom after I pay her her chunk of money. Um, and then <clears throat> anything else important, I would write at the bottom. So really easy. And then like you have like the big chunky calendar parts. And then here I usually just write like, let's say if there's a bill due here, I'll write it in. And I usually check mark it <laughs> to tell me that it was paid. And that's my little planner, my financial planner. And then I also write down any like major things, like if we had a party to go to or um, a doctor's appointment or a DMV appointment or whatever, I would write it in this book. Okay. So this one has a whole bunch of little cat post-its because I'm not done with it yet. But this was just a cheap old composition book. It costs like a dollar. <laughs> a dollar 99 cents I don't know um and it is my 2020 book so I went through and I wrote down so this is 2020 my tarot year card I wrote down number eight strength because that's the tarot card I have I'm gonna do a little blurb here where I write about it um and then on the next page I wrote out the months so January February March April because I plan on pooling cards for each of the month to give myself my own little mini year of you reading, which is basically like the reading that I do for everybody else. Just mine is on paper. So I have all the months written out and I plan on putting the tarot cards that I pull and just maybe like a couple sentences about it. And then I have on this page, my goals. So this is the goals that I pretty much read off to you guys <laughs> not too long ago. And then I have so I divided the pages up in half, so two days per page. Um, so we have January the 1st and the 2nd. And in these spaces, I plan on, we'll see if I can keep up with it, but I plan on pretty much writing down my day. So I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I'm, if I'm gonna write what I eat. I probably will or I'll try to be very basic with it. Um, I don't calorie count because that just gets too much for me. <laughs> I don't need to be obsessed over that. So I plan on writing down like, you know, if I eat an egg for breakfast or if I have takeout for lunch or whatever, I want to write it down because I want to actively see what I'm eating, especially because I have these eczema outbreaks and I feel like I get them. One, I get them when I'm really stressed, <laughs> but two, I also get them when I think if I eat certain foods that just mess me up. So I want to kind of try to figure out this year, like what's going on with my skin um, because my eczema outbreaks the last couple months were pretty bad, especially because they came out on my face. <laughs> um, so I want to write down like what I eat. I also want to write down my mood because I have found... Um, writing my mood with my PMS and all of that. Like, I'm just curious to see, is there a, is there a, like a theme here? <laughs> is there a cycle happening? Um, I also plan on writing down the moon. So what phase the moon is in and depending on the moods that I'm in. And then also obviously keeping track of my period, which, oh, duh, my phone is, I'm filming with it. Um, I keep track of my period on, on an app on my phone. So it's called Flow, F-L-O, in case anyone is curious. 
you could track your period. You could track if you're trying to conceive, you could track like the days you have sex and you can track all of this good stuff, your moods and all that. So I highly recommend flow on the phone. Um, but I also plan on just kind of keeping track of my moods, the moon sign, um, what I'm eating and any activities that I do. Like if I go for a walk or how much water I drink or whatever. <laughs> so I want to kind of keep a daily, kind of like a little daily diary for my health and whatnot. Um, especially because like I said, eczema outbreaks or, um, you know, if I, whatever, like whatever, just God forbid if anything happens to me, but you know what I mean? So each page is pretty much done the same for January. It's divided into twos. So I plan on keeping track. So all of these post-its, this is for February and then I got to do February and so on and so forth. So <laughs> that's going to be my 2020 diary slash health book. I don't know. Um, and then for TCM related stuff. So the way that I keep organized is I always have a business book. So this is what my business book looks like for 2020. I have, I don't know where it went, but I had a business book for TCM for 2019, but this is 2020s. So it's spiral bound. Um, I already put my little hermit stickers on it <laughs> and it's funny because I put down this planner belongs to Rachel um, and then in the front cover like I have a little pocket here so I have a list my pretty much like my schedule <laughs> my TCM to do's and then I also have my schedule like literally you guys I wrote it out so I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What my schedule will look like during the week to kind of keep me on task so I don't become a couch potato. So for example, Monday, meditation, blog, client readings, Tuesday, YouTube videos, Facebook group post, client readings, Wednesday, midweek live, Thursday, blog, client readings, Friday, weekend live, Facebook group post, client readings, Saturday off, Sunday off with the exception of the weekly energy reading. So <laughs> that's just tentatively what it would look like, but, <laughs> but it's, there's could be more or it could switch up. Um, and then I also put in little asterisks. I put go for daily walks, groceries, Monday or Fridays, mornings, um, Saturday equals laundry day and the first of the month equals bills. So that's just for, <laughs> that's just for me to stay focused because I don't want to be a couch potato. Like I have the tendency because I'm a Pisces to be lazy and I just I don't my ass does not need to be a lazier ass. Um <laughs> I also have my list of decks that I currently own. So I have tarot and oracle decks and that's just for me to keep track of how many I have and then if I like give one away, I cross it off the list. And then I also have my stats so I have the stats from 2017, 2017, 2018, 2018, and then my 2019 stats. Um, so basically that's how I keep track of how much money is TCM making each month and how much money did I make for the whole year. Um, and then I compare it to the previous year to kind of see like, where did I suck and where did I like do bomb ass readings? Um, it also helps for taxes because tax season, I have to give numbers and all of that. So it just helps to be organized. I also have like a, a um, like an envelope where I keep all of the receipts where I spend on stuff for TCM. So I have like that, that I usually staple with like all of my like, <laughs> financial things and I go to the tax man all nice and like organized and he's very happy about that so <laughs> that helps for that and then the um basically basically my planner has every month has a section here where I can like write a list of to do's or goals or whatever for the month I don't really use it often except for right here like I put tarot energy readings and then tarot book club because book club was that's what started in December. Um, and then it has a calendar. So 
So on my calendar, this was where I was putting like my work schedule and then I would put the major um, astrology transits and all of that. And then after that, we have the calendar where I put down the clients. Like I basically write the client's name, how much they spent and the reading that they bought. And then anything that's highlighted, that means I did the reading. So that's how I stay organized. Um, because God forbid, if I lose this book, I would be completely lost. So, um, so for example, like these readings got done, these got done. I still have this one to do cause he's not highlighted. <laughs> And that's how I keep track. And then whenever, like, like I literally just got a prompt for a reading that someone just booked. So whenever I get new prompts, like new new readings that are booked, I add them in this book as soon as I can because sometimes I've I've literally been guilty of forgetting to write it in. And then like I'll get an email from that person later, like, uh, did you guys did you forget about me? And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so I do my best to be on top of it as much as I can because it is easy to forget. Um, and yeah, so that's my, um, that's my planner. Like that is the TCM business planner. And I highly recommend you guys that you guys have one for your business. If you have a little business for whatever you do, because it's super helpful, helpful, and it just keeps you organized. And when tax season rolls around, it just makes your life so much easier. Um, I think I even have a video on introducing my business planner and stuff from like a year or two ago. Um, and then this one, so this is a spiral bound journal that my mom gave me <laughs> and I just plucked in my like Pisces, a Pisces birthday card that I got from like forever ago. And in this, um, this is like, I don't know if I should show you guys. It's kind of private, but anyway, I'll just do like real quick. So <laughs> here I have the client's names and then I'll write down. So when, I, okay, so like when one of you guys books a reading with me, I write down your name, the date, and then I write down your email address, which is why I ask you guys for, tell me your email addresses because I do video readings. And then I um, write down questions that you have or if it's a channeled reading, this is where I write and I do my, my thing. Um, but it keeps me focused. And then of course, when the reading is done, I highlight the name or I check it off. And so this whole book, is filled with all of my client stuff that I've done so far from 2019. I have to, I'm gonna have to get a new one eventually, but I wanna finish it off first. So whenever I'm sitting down to do tarot readings, I always have the business book so I know which ones I'm doing. And then I have this book because it I will write down, like when you guys book your reading with me, like I said, I take it my, I take, I take the time to write down, I'll write down your name, your email, your question, what reading you bought, so that when I sit down to do the reading, I just have to flip it to your page and I go, okay, we're gonna do a mini reading. This is what they asked and I'm ready to go. <laughs> it makes my life easier because then I'm not like searching through my phone for like an Instagram DM or an email and it's just so, it's such a headache and I've had my, I've, I've taught, I learned my lesson from that. Um, so it's just easier for me to have it all written out on a piece of paper. Pretty old school, but it works for me. And that's how I stay organized with my tarot biz. So I would be completely lost. Cackling Moon would be literally a wreck if I didn't have my books. So those are those are my books, you guys. That's this is the these are this is what's gonna keep me, please, I hope. This is what's gonna keep me sane for 2020. Um, I plan on utilizing my 2020 book. Every day, I hope. I'm going to try my best to stay on task. That's going to be a goal in itself um, because I really, really, really want to stay focused and productive. This is my first year working from home. I'm excited. I can't wait. But I'm also very nervous because I've, <laughs> I'm so used to having a job, like a, a, a not, not a nine to five. Sometimes it was nine to five, but like I'm used to having a, do a job. And so working from home is going to be different, but I'm excited. Um, so yeah, you guys, it's the year of strength for Cackling Moon. So we'll see how that plays out for me. Um, but other than that, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know some of you love to talk about like 
organization and like planners and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys soon and happy new year. And if I don't put a video out before the end of the year, happy new year. And I will see you guys next year. Bye loves.